Hi everybody! Now I know I have not filmed a YouTube video in a while and I'm gonna give you guys some reasons for that. There's actually only one reason and that is because I am depressed. And before any of you bitches are like, oh my god, like you're just trying to be quirky. Let me show you something. What you're looking at is my depression medication. Today I'm gonna be calling a bunch of my friends, all of whom are TikTokers, and I'm gonna be telling them that I am gay, a homosexual. I'm gonna be saying, you know what, I like D-I-C-K, okay? I mean, who doesn't? Well, I guess straight men don't. Now let me elaborate. They all obviously know. You know, they are well aware. I've gone on dates with guys. I talk about guys. But I've never actually come out to any of them. They've always just known. I love how I'm doing this while wearing a necklace that literally says fruity on it. These necklaces are available now because they're actually my necklaces that I launched all by myself. I handmade them with these hands right fucking here, bitch. Okay. Okay, you know what? That was actually a lie. I didn't hand make them. But you know what? I did come up with the idea for the necklace. And I did come up with the concept. The clasp in the back is actual gold. And then the pearls are real water pearls. So, you know, I wanted it to be super high quality. I will leave the link for these necklaces in the description. Go support a fellow homosexual. Even if you're not a homosexual, still go buy it anyway. Because you know what? If you don't go buy it, you're homophobic. You're fucking homophobic. And you want to be homophobic? That's what I thought. Anyways, let's hop into this video. Y'all have had enough of me talking about my damn necklace. You probably don't care anymore. Hi, baby. Oh my god, I'm getting too big. What's up? Okay, so listen, I'm actually calling you about a serious conversation that I want to have. It's been weighing on my chest a lot, and I don't know, like, how to tell you because it's something that I've just been thinking about for so long. And what's up? It's like it's beating. I get, oh, I'm so scared. Bitch, get it out of your system. This ain't the coronavirus. I am gay. Bro, are you actually? You're one of them fruity tooties. I am not gonna say, but I'm like like D I C K. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like sometimes uh, I have sometimes I have thoughts, and I just want to like drop to my knees. Yeah. Uh, how do I word this? My parents might not want you coming around my parts of the house anymore. We can't be friends. You don't think? I mean. Not really into that type of homosexualness, but maybe I'd be open to some exploration if you're down for some. Oh, I would love to be open to some exploration. Today's the day I make a move, Scott. Today's actually not the day you make a move. I totally forgot I was filming on this vlog. Now you confessing your fucking love for me on camera. Let me paint the vlog a quick picture. Paint the fucking vlog a quick picture. Okay. So there I am in Scott's apartment. He finally lets me over and I'm laying down on his couch. <laughs> and I have one of my buttons on my pants undone and he notices. Where's- I didn't notice your button undone on your fucking pants. I have something to tell you and I don't even know how to get it off my chest. Just do it. Bella. I am gay. Really, bitch. Telling me I'm, I'm I'm really happy you called while I'm wearing my TikTok prize. <laughs> <laughs> What's your prize from the fucking gag? What was that? I've just had a long day, baby, and there's been a lot on my mind, and I'm actually calling you because of something that I just need to get off my chest. So it's just <laughs> really fucking burning up in my chest. What I need to tell you is that. I am a homosexual. That means gay, right? Yeah, like I, I'm, I'm gay. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I'm gay, and I like dick. You know. I mean, yeah, I know what you mean. Sometimes it's just too hard to resist. You know. Oh, I do know. And I feel like 23 years, I've finally been able to speak my truth. But did you know I was a homosexual? I can't really think of anything that came your way. Not the way I speak. Not the pink dildo that I loved. <laughs> Honestly, I just thought all that was pretty normal. I mean, every straight man that I know does those things. My ex loved riding his pink. <laughs> I just assumed every straight man did that. Oh no, baby, I think your ex may have, there may have been something that he was not telling you. Really? <laughs> yeah. Now we're gonna call Miss Liv Pearsall. Hello, Hi, you? baby, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm so good, except one thing. I have something that's just been on my chest. And it's been like weighing and I just have to tell you, okay? I don't even know where to begin. It's like literally I'm flustered right now. I am here for you. Take your time. Just get out. I am gay. <gasps> <laughs> 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 
There's no way. Who would have known? I know, right? I feel like I did a good job at keeping it like on the low, right? I had literally no idea. I was infiltrated by this hoe over here while in the middle of filming. He decided to walk up here and I never even said he could come up. He just came up. You're my boyfriend. Video, this whore over here is building a castle. Is it for us to live in when we get married? It was for me to wear to my party tonight, but we can say whatever you want. Do you want to get married? Like imagine we have a house together and we're married. Would you want to live in this house if we got married together? Um, you know, me neither. Yeah. No. <laughs> Why is it so hard to get a fucking hold of you? I was actually calling about something so important and I don't even know how to fucking tell you because it's like been building up inside of my body, my bones, my core. I don't even know where to begin. Do you like- Do I what? <laughs> oh, yes. Did you say do I like Carter? That has something to do with it, okay? I have so much to fucking unpack. Basically, I'm gay. Okay. And I didn't know if you knew that yet, so I just needed to clear the air. Yeah, I know, honey. You're aware? I know you're so gay. It's okay. Okay, then the other thing is, I do have a boyfriend. Bitch, what? I'm gonna show him to you right now. <laughs> what on earth is going on? And I'm calling on a serious topic too. I know it's gonna be about a boy something stupid. I don't no. even care. Hear me out. You say hear me out and you say oh, I'm in love again. Basically, this has been like building up inside of my chest for a while now, and I've been like, Wait, is it is it serious? It's so serious. Wait, actually, I don't really know how to tell you because I've been thinking about it for the fuck. <laughs> in the middle of our fucking heated conversation, you put me on pause. <laughs> I like that laugh. I just recently have had a, these feelings and I don't really know. Are you typing right now? <laughs> Maya! I've had these feelings and at first I thought they were wrong. And like everybody told me they're wrong, they're wrong, right? And I just don't even know how to tell you because I think. Well, I, what feelings? I don't know if you're gonna wanna be friends with me anymore, okay? Once I. Well, so basically, I am a gay male. Bitch, obviously you're fucking gay, duh! <laughs> it's like it's the sky blue. Yes! Obviously, like, no need to you, tell me. You knew? You were able to tell? The whole time. What gave it away? Scott, you really said you want to suck a man's dick. Oh. Yeah, I did, I did do that tonight. While editing this video, I did realize that I forgot to do an outro. So, thank you ladies so much for watching. Remember to go buy your necklace if you don't. You're fucking homophobic and you're not an ally and I'm gonna get you canceled. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love y'all so much.